When General Motors killed its minivans and launched a range of three row crossovers on a then new Lambda platform about a decade ago, it seemed a risky move. But it paid off, fast forward to now, and Americans have bought more than 2 million of those Chevrolet, GMC, and Buick, and, yes, Saturn, people haulers. Now GM's second generation three row transporters are here and they've got a much tougher playing field of family SUVs to go up against. The first of these renewed efforts was the GMC Acadia, which shrank considerably compared with its predecessor. In a recent comparison test, it placed mid-pack behind the Mazda CX-9 and the Volkswagen Atlas. So maybe it's a good thing that the Acadia's corporate cousin, the new 2018 Chevrolet Traverse, is taking a different approach. For starters, it has done the opposite of shrink, with a wheelbase that's a full 2 inches longer than that of the old Traverse and incremental uptakes in length, width, and height, the Traverse is a size XL to the Acadia's L. It's the biggest crossover in a big class, and its size pays dividends inside. Even with the third row seat raised, there's a generous 23 cubic feet of cargo space in back, enough to accommodate 6 carry-on suitcases in our testing two more than the similarly gargantuan Atlas. We can't quite proclaim the Traverse's third row to be as accommodating as the Volkswagen's, though, because Chevrolet has insisted on wedging a third seating position in there. Stuffing the Chevy full of seven passengers forces one unlucky occupant to inhabit the uncomfortable third row middle seat, whereas the Volkswagen's three-seat second row and two-seat third row apportion the available space better. For those who place carpooling for sports teams at the top of their priority lists, the Traverse's ace up its sleeve is the available 8 seat configuration that swaps out our test car's second row captain's chairs for a 3 seat bench, unfortunately, it's available only on lower trim levels with cloth seats and less equipment. Speaking of equipment, our top trim Traverse High Country test car had it all, as it ought to, considering its steep asking price of $52,995. Like GMC's Denali trim level, the High Country is aimed at raising transaction prices and profit margins and comes fully loaded with flashy exterior bits including 20-inch wheels and plenty of chrome trim, interior upgrades such as a panoramic sunroof and a power-folding third-row seat and a full complement of active safety features. Its nicely laid out interior mostly impressed with its simple controls and attractive looking finishes, even if the feel of materials doesn't quite justify the hefty price tag. We were also disappointed to find a few areas where GM cut costs. The shades for the dual sunroofs, for instance, are manual rather than power operated and the flipping and folding second row seat that eases access to the third row is included only on the passenger side captain's chair.